couple things to keep in mind when revarnishing your ores. First and foremost, make sure the ores are completely dry. It's a good idea to isolate the rope wrap and the grip with either shrink wrap or tape and paper so you can actually varnish the entire ore. When prepping the ore shaft, it's best to use a coarse grit sandpaper by 80 or 120 grit to sand out any gouges or little dings in your ore. And then you want to finish up with the 320 grit that is uh, available in our varnish kit or you can find that at your local hardware store. Before covering up the ore grip, uh, it's a good idea to inspect it. If the ore grip has damage, it's uh, better to replace the ore grip at this time so you can varnish the entire wooden handle. Best to wipe the ore down with a clean rag or a tack cloth right before you varnish. So if your ore is in good shape and you're just needing to do a re-varnishing coat, you can just use a 320 grit sandpaper over the entire ore, which is just buffing out the surface, getting it ready to accept the varnish, similar to what we do at the factory on every ore as it goes through the process. So a couple things when you're finally to the point where you're applying the varnish, if you're Revarnishing a wood part of the ore that's been completely sanded down to raw wood, go ahead and do that part first and get that completely varnished and a good coating on it. Then let that cure, buff it back, and apply the second coat to the wood as you apply the first coat to the rest of the ore. So it's always good to try and put on at least two coats, maybe three, depending on how you're applying it. And if you're wondering if you've got enough varnish on there, just uh, remember that when we uh, have a brand new ore, it's completely dipped and submerged in the varnish. And we spread it out over the top of the ore there and uh, make sure it covers the entire ore. And then we're going to hang it and cure it. Uh, you want to cure it in about uh, 65 degree temperature and you want that to cure for at least 12 hours before you uh, buff it back for the next layer. And when varnishing your ores, it is very important that you make sure you have a well-ventilated area to work in and um, also a good idea to have some place that you can let them cure away from you where you don't have to smell the varnish as they cure. A good coat of varnish is the best thing you can do to preserve the life of your ores and hopefully this gave you a few extra tips and if you got any questions please call our team.